major global issues of today's world. Major global issues is food. It is estimated that worldwide around 13.1% of the world's population is starving. This means that about 925 million people are today under undernourished because the daily intake of recommended calories in their body is less than 2,100 calories. Experts say that in the world today there is enough food to feed the 7 billion people today. However, millions of people are hungry because they cannot buy food for the sake of poverty, or are without land, so they cannot produce the necessary food for their family. Agriculture is the world's leading consumer of water. It globally covers 70% of water consumption, and in developing countries it is as high as 90%. But 2-5 of the world's population lives in areas where water shortages run. This is certainly one of the biggest problems facing the world population in the near future. What a world eats. United States, the Revis family of North Carolina. Food expenditure for one week, $341.98. Favorite foods, spaghetti, potatoes, sesame chicken. Ecuador, the AIM family of Tingo. Food expenditure for one week. $31.55. Family Recipe, Potato Soup with Cabbage. Chad, the Ababaker family of Bridging Camp. Food expenditure for one week, 685 CFA francs or $1.23. Favorite foods, soup with fresh sheep meat. Major global issues is water. 884 million people have unsuitable access to safe drinking water. Water consumption is growing at a rate more than that twice the rate of population growth in the last century. Hydropower represents around 20% of the world production of eclectic energy. 70% of the Earth is covered with water. Only 2.5% of water on Earth is potable, sweet, water. Over 70% of drinking water is in the glaciers and ice cover. There is plenty of water left in the groundwater. Ninety seven per cent of the total amount of water found on the earth is salt water. Remaining three per cent accounts for the fresh water. Out of this three per cent, sixty eight to sixty nine per cent is in the form of ice caps and glaciers, groundwater thirty to thirty one per cent, and the surface water, liquid, accounts for only zero point three per cent. Half of the world's swamps is gone. 20% freshwater fish are endangered. By 2050 between 1.7 and 7 billion people will face the shortage of water. The shortage will not be evenly distributed. Global water use. See picture below. The industries requiring the most water are petroleum refining, food processing, metals, chemical processing, and pulp and paper. The industrial use of water creates toxic and hazardous pollutants that renders wastewater unfit for subsequent human consumption or use in the agricultural sector. These conditions can also permanently pollute aquifers. The expansion of industry to the developing world, in addition to local human contamination of fresh water supplies, is making it more difficult to maintain water quality. Major global issues is energy.
approximately 2 billion people without access modern energy. World energy consumption will increase 36% between 2008 and 2035. Energy production contributes through 80% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The main growth drivers of consumption energy and emission increases. Population growth. Economic growth. Technology. Politics. Styles of life. Global urbanization and energy. Growth of the population of South Asia, China and the region Africa and urban environments increases with increased rates. Residents of urban areas use several times more energy and energy from different sources than is used in rural environments. Urbanization can lead to increased dependence on fossil fuels. The 20th century witnessed the rapid urbanization of the world's population. The global proportion of urban population increased from a mere 13% in 1900 to 29% in 1950 and, according to the 2005 revision of world urbanization prospects, reached 49% in 2005. Since the world is projected to continue to urbanize, 60% of the global population is expected to live in cities by 2030. The rising numbers of urban dwellers give the best indication of the scale of these unprecedented trends. The urban population increased from 220 million in 1900 to 732 million in 1950, and is estimated to have reached 3.2 billion in 2005, thus more than quadrupling since 1950. According to the latest United Nations population projections, 4.9 billion people are expected to be urban dwellers in 2030. The relationship between energy and income levels has been a source of concern to many countries and organizations. As part of the Millennium, Development Goals, the UN Commission for Sustainable Development explicitly acknowledged that access to sustainable energy services is an essential element of sustainable development, stating that, to implement the goal accepted by the international community to have the proportion of people living on less than one US dollar per day by 2015, access to affordable energy services is a prerequisite. While energy poverty exists across Asia, Latin America, the Middle East and Africa, the most poignant need is in Sub-Saharan Africa, where today only 31% of the population has access to electricity. If you remove South Africa from the equation, that percentage drops to 28%. According to the UNDP, residential electricity consumption in the entirety of sub-saharan africa excluding south africa is roughly equivalent to consumption in the state of new york in other words the 19.5 million inhabitants of new york consume in a year roughly the same quantity of electricity 40 twh as the 791 million people of sub-saharan africa